Dasa Vrindavanam Vande Krishna Dasa Prabhum Tata Chanavatar Chaitanya Lila Vishtar Kadino Do Nityananda Padabja Karunare Nabushito Vyakta Chano Burachincho Vavande Vyasarupino Shri Guru Gaur Gandharva Govindas Cha Ganai Saha Jayanti Patakas Chacha Sarvesham Karunatino so we are continuing with our reading discussion of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. This is the mercy of our gurus upon us that we have this opportunity. <laughs> so we are we have reached chapter four, Sri Madhavendra Puri's devotional service, which is you know important for us. Madhavendra Puri has a very important position for us. He marks the, the beginning of Mahaprabhu's Sampradaya, right? He is the, Srila Sridhar Maharaj describes him one, in one place as the bridge from the Madhva lineage, the Madhva Sampradaya, to Mahaprabhu's Gaudiya Sampradaya. And we'll hear more about the reasons for that in this chapter. So beginning from verse 1. Yasmai datam chodayan kshira bandam gopi natha kshira chirabi do but shi gopala padura sid vasha san yad prem natam madhavendram natosmi. I offer my respectful obeisances unto Madhavendra Puri, who is given a pot of sweet rice stolen by Shri Gopinath, celebrated thereafter as kshira choda. Being pleased by Madhavendra Puri's love, Sri Gopal, the deity at Govardhan, appeared to the public vision. Jai Jai Gaur Chandra Jai Nitananda Jai Dwaita Chandra Jai Gaur Bhakta Rinda All glories to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all glories to Nityananda Prabhu, all glories to Advaita Prabhu and all glories to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. Niladrigaman Jagannath Dadashan Sarvabhama Bhatta Charja Prabhur Milan Esab Lila Prabhur Das Vrindavan Vistari Kodi Achan Uttama Varnan The Lord went to Jagannath Puri and visited Lord Jagannath's temple. He also met with Sarvabhama Bhatta Charja. All these pastimes have been very elaborately explained by Vrindavan Das Thakur in his book, Chaitanya Bhagavat. Sahaja vichitcha madhur chaitana vihar Vrindavana Das muke amrita dadar By nature, all the activities of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are very wonderful and sweet. And when they are described by Vrindavan Das Thakur, they become like a shower. Of nectar. Ataiva taha varnile hoi puna dukti, damba kodi varni yadi, toichena hi shakti. Therefore, I very humbly submit that since these incidents have already been nicely described by Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur, I would be very proud to repeat the same thing, and this would not be very good. I do not have such powers. Chaitana Mangale Jaha Kodilo Vainan Sutra Rupa Seilila Kodiya Suchan. I'm therefore presenting only a synopsis of those events already described elaborately by Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur in his Chaitanya Mangal, now known as Chaitanya Bhagavad. So we see this again and again, right? How Kaviraj Goswami is giving honor to Vrindavan Das Thakur, deferring to Vrindavan Das Thakur. And as we were just remembering before we started Saturday, just in a few days, is the disappearance day, I believe, of Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur. So we are happy to have some extra remembrance of him at this time. Some of the incidents he did not describe elaborately, but only summarized. And these I shall try to describe in this book. 
Ateva tarpaye kodi namaskar tarpaya pada naho kamar. I thus offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of Vrindavan Das Thakur. I hope that I will not offend his lotus feet by this action. E Mata Mahaprabhu Jolila Nila Chole Chari Bhakta Sange Krishna Kirtan Kutu Hole Mahaprabhu proceeded toward Jagannath Puri with four of his devotees and he chanted the holy name of the Lord with great eagerness. So he's just departed right from Shantipur, the home of Advaita Chari, is proceeding towards Puri, in which his mother had selected to be his place of residence, right? Mm-hmm. And he's traveling with, um, we were told before, Nityananda Prabhu, Mukunda, who else? It mentioned, maybe it mentioned in the previous chapter. Yeah, so Nityananda, Jagadananda, Damodar, and Mukunda. These are the four who accompany Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Bhagavad, I believe, gives a different list, actually. <laughs> I think it mentions one other person. Bhikkala gie ek din ekra magia, apane bahutana anilo magia. Each day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally went to a village and collected a great quantity of rice and other grains for the preparation of prasadam. Wow, so Mahaprabhu personally. Imagine having a knock on your door. (laughs) This tall, beautiful, golden sannyasi. Oh, please, can I have a little rice? Take everything. Take it all. (laughs) Pate pate bodo bodo dani vigna nahi kode tasabade kripa kodi aila re munade. There were many rivers on the way, and at each river there was a tax collector. They did not hinder the Lord, however, and he showed them mercy. He re- finally he reached the village of Ramuna. So this is an important place, Ramuna, um, on the way to from going from Bengal to Puri. And you know, if, if for devo- you know, if you're going by train, it's or by plane, it's different. But if you're driving, then then you know, you know, the Vaishnavas, it's a tradition. You'll stop there. And Gurudev used to stop there. When Gurudev liked to drive. There. Gurudev preferred driving and like seeing the land, you know, more than flying. But so this, so Ramuna is the entrance to this story. Ramuna is the place where Madhavendra Puri Samadhi is and where this very special pastime took place with the Gopinath deity. So Mahaprabhu's stopping there along the way and then this is how we get to hear the story of Madhavendra Puri. Ramunate Gopinath Parama Mohan Bhakti Kodi Koilo Prabhu Dadashan The deity of Gopinath in the temple at Ramuna was very attractive. Lord Chaitanya visited the temple and offered his obeisances with great devotion. Tarpara Padmanikat Pranam Kadite Tarpushpa Chudapodilo Prabhu Matate. When Mahaprabhu offered his obeisances at the lotus feet of the Gopinath Diti, the helmet of flowers on the head of Gopinath fell down and landed on the head of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So some type of crown of flowers, right? Falling from the Diti onto Mahaprabhu. Chodapaya Mahaprabhu Anandita Man Bahunitya Gita Koilo Loya Bhakta Gan When the deity's helmet or crown fell upon his head, Mahaprabhu became very pleased and thus he chanted and danced in various ways with his devotees. Prabhu Prabhavdeki Premarupa Gun Vishmita Hoila Gopinata Dasa Gan all the servants of the deity were struck with wonder 
due to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's intense love, his exquisite beauty, and his transcendental qualities. Nana rupe pritte koilo prabhu se van se rachita prabhu kodila vanchan. Because of their love for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they served him in many ways. And that night the Lord stayed at the temple of Gopinath. Mahaprasad kira lobe rohila prabhu tata purve ishwar poritade kohi achengata. The Lord remains there because he was very eager to receive the remnants of sweet rice offered to the Gopinath deity. Having heard a narration from his spiritual master, Ishvara Puri, of what had once happened there. And now the story begins. Kirachora Gopinath Prasiddha Tarnam Bhakta Gane Kohe Prabhu Seto Akyam That deity was known widely as Kshira Chora Gopinath. So it means Gopinath who stole the kir, right, or sweet rice. He's known by that name. <laughs> and Mahaprabhu told his devotees the story of how the deity became so famous. So Mahaprabhu is personally going to narrate. Purve Madhava Pode Lagi Kira Koilo Chodi Formerly, the deity had stolen a pot of sweet rice from Madhavendra Puri. So he stole a pot of his own sweet rice <laughs> to give to his devotee. Well, here, the, stay tuned for the details. <laughs> this is the Lord's nature, right? He, he enjoys stealing, you know for the sake of his devotees. You know, there's no need for him to steal. Everything is his. But he likes to orchestrate things in this way to increase the play, exchange of love. Therefore, he became very famous as the Lord who stole the sweet rice. Purveshi Madhava Pori Aila Vrindavan Pramite Brahmite Gela Giri Govardhan Once, Sri Madhavendra Puri traveled to Vrindavan where he came upon the hill known as Govardhan. <laughs> and now the story begins. Once upon a time. <laughs> Mahaprabhu is a good storyteller. <laughs> so just, I mean, what a beautiful scene, right? They're like seated in this temple, I believe. Yeah, they're in this temple, right? Mahaprabhu just had the, the flowers fall upon him. And now he has his... Yeah, he's enchanting. And he has his little band around mm -hmm. him. And now he's beginning the story, sitting in the temple. <laughs> so Madhavendrapuri came to Vrindavan. Govardhan. Prime Mata Nahita Rachi Din Gyan Kane Ute Kone Pode Nahistana Stan Madhavendra Puri was almost mad in his ecstasy of love of Godhead, and he did not know whether it was day or night. Sometimes he stood up, and sometimes he fell to the ground. He could not discriminate whether he was in a proper place or not. Shoilo parikrama kodi govinda kunde asi snan kodi vikatole ache sanjai bosi. After circumambulating the hill, Sri Madhavendra Puri went to Govinda Kund and took his bath. He then sat beneath a tree to take his evening rest. Gopal Balake Dugda Bandaloya Asiya Gedori Kichu Bolila Asiya. While he was sitting beneath a tree, an unknown cowherd boy came with a pot of milk, placed it before Madhavendra Puri, and smiling, addressed him as follows. Oh, some mysterious coward boy. I wonder, I wonder who it could be. Puriye dugdaloya koro tumi pan magi kene nahi kao kiba koro diam. Oh, Madhavendra Puri, please drink the milk I have brought. Why don't you beg some food to eat? What kind of meditation are you undergoing? 
So this was Madhavendra Puri's um, habit. And, and I believe there may even have been a, a particular name for this. You know, the, the mendicants, right? The sadhu beggars. They would, they would have different ways of maintaining themselves. And more generally, they would, they would um, you know, approach householders for some alms, right? And actually the Rup and Sanatan, they established this system of madukadi, right? Which literally means like a bee, to act, to act like a bee. So the same way that a bumblebee goes from flower to flower, takes a little bit of nectar, right? So this term was used to describe how the sadhus would live. That they would go, you know, they would take, they would go to one family and they would give them a little bit of something. They'd go somewhere else, they'd get a little bit of something. And so the whole um, community was supporting the sadhus, right? So this was very strong in Vrindavan, and generally throughout India, but, but Rupa and Sanatan really established it very strongly in Vrindavan. So generally the sadhus are really living like that. But, but then there were some who were more renounced and more simple, and they would not eat anything except what persons approached and gave to them. And so that was the practice that Madhavendra Puri followed. And if nobody gave him anything, he wouldn't eat. Right. So, so this mysterious cowherd boy, he's like mentioning, why don't you beg for some food? Like, what, what are you doing? You're just sitting, not eating. And so please take this. What kind of meditation are you doing? When he saw the beauty of that boy, Madhavendra Puri became very satisfied. Hearing his sweet words, he forgot all hunger and thirst. Puri kohe ke tumi ka tomar vas ke mate jani le ami kori upavas. Madhavendra Puri said, Who are you? Where do you reside? And how did you know that I was fasting? <laughs> Balak kohe gopa mi e grame bosi amar grame te ke ho nado he upavasi. The boy replied, Sir, I am a cowherd boy, and I reside in this village. In my village, no one fasts. <laughs> no one's going hungry in my village. Keho ana magi kai, keho dugdahar, ayachaka jane ami dieto ahar. In this village, a person can beg food from others and thus eat. Some people drink only milk. But if a person does not ask anyone for food, I supply him all his eatables. The women who come here to take water saw you, and they supplied me with this milk and sent me to you. Go dohan kodite chahi shigrami jabo. The boy continued, I must go very soon to milk the cows, but I shall return and take back this milk pot from you. This word chamatkar is a good one for your notebook. means Chamatkar means like astonishment, you know, wonder. Ram Sundar, he, Ram Sundar likes to use that word a lot. <laughs> the Brahmachari Ram Sundar. Saying this, the boy left the place. Indeed, he suddenly could be seen no more, and Madhavendra Puri's heart was filled with wonder. Dugdapan kori banda duyara kilo. After drinking the milk, Sri Madhavendra Puri washed the pot and put it aside. He looked toward the path, but the boy never returned. Madhavendra Puri could not sleep. He sat and chanted, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And at the end of the night, he dozed a little 
and his external activity stopped. Swapne deke se balak samuke asiya eka kunje loya gelo hatete dodiya. Then in a dream, Madhavendra Puri saw the very same boy. The boy came before him and holding his hand took him to a bush in the jungle. Kunja de kaya kohe amie kunja roi. Shita vishti vatagnite mahaduka pai. The boy showed Madhavendra Puri the bush and said, I reside in this bush. And because of this, I suffer very much from severe cold, rain showers, winds, and scorching heat. Please bring the people of the village and get them to take me out of this bush. Then have them situate me nicely on top of the hill. Ekmatta koritaha koroho stapan paho shita jole koro shianga marjan. Please construct a temple on top of that hill, the boy continued, and install me in that temple. After this, wash me with large quantities of cold water so that my body may be cleansed. Bahudin tomar patta kori nirikan. For many days I have been observing you and I have been wondering when will Madhavendra Puri come here to serve me? <laughs> when will Madhavendra Puri come here to serve me? So this is a very beautiful meditation, right? And Srila Gurudev, he made this point, you know, that the first stage is search for Sri Krishna. But the second stage is Krishna will search for you. <laughs> the second stage is you will search for your service. <clears throat> Where is my service? And Krishna will search for you. And he, and he said, you know, Krishna is everywhere. You know, but our service is not everywhere. So where is our service? We want to find where. We will search for our service. And Krishna will search after us. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he, 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 he emphasized this point here. You know, there, there was one incident where someone was, I think it was something like someone was trying to clear some space so Saraswati Thakur could have more clear darshan of the deity, something like that. And, and, and then Saraswati Thakur later explained, like, that's not the idea. It's not that we need to see the deity, but we, what we really want is that we will, our hearts will become so developed in devotion that the deity will want to see us. You know, and he gave this example of Madhavan Japuri. You know, so what type of devotion does Madhavendra Puri have? You know, the Lord doesn't need his service. It's not a practical necessity. And if he does, does need service, he can ask anyone. Right? But it's, a, it's that devotion in the heart of Madhavendra Puri that is attracting him. So Sarsdhi Thakur made this point. Like we, we want to have this type of devotion. So that the Lord wants, the deity wants to see us. The, de the Lord is attracted to our hearts. Right? Not, that, not that we want to turn the deity into an object. Oh, we want to see how beautiful the deity is and so on. But we want the deity to see us, to be attracted to us and our hearts. And this is a higher level, right, of understanding. So it is very, very touching to see this, how much love the Lord has for his devotees, how drawn, you know, this is the power of devotion, it attracts the Lord, moves the Lord, Sri Krishna Kar Karshin, what is it, Sri Krishna Karshin Chasa, this is the final and most significant quality of devotion, and that it attracts the Lord, it binds the Lord, ultimately.
when someone has that quality, then you understand they have devotion of a very high level. So then, who is Madhavendrapuri? Right? The Lord is personally coming in this very sweet and humble way. I'm suffering from the cold and the heat, and I'm, I'm trapped in this bush on the hill. You know, please come and help me. I need your help. You know? <laughs> he doesn't need anyone's help, you know, but he wants to have this exchange with Madhavendrapuri, this loving exchange. For many days I've been observing you and I've been wondering when will Madhavendrapuri come here to serve me? Tomar prem vashe kori sevangi kar darshandiya nistanima sakao samsar I've accepted your service due to your ecstatic love for me. Thus I shall appear and by my audience all fallen souls will be delivered. Shri Gopal Namur Govardhana Dadi Vajrasta Pita Mihavadikari. My name is Gopal. I am the lifter of Govardhan Hill. I was installed by Vajra, and here I am the authority. So Vajra, he was the grandson, or was it the great grand? I think the great grandson of Krishna. And he installed a number of deities. But then, because of the Muslim rule, right, many of these deities, they got moved right, to different places. Some were hidden away, some were moved to other regions of India, because otherwise, you know, the Muslims were sometimes just destroying, desecrating the temples, and deities. And so there was this, you know, movement going on. So this Gopal deity, beautiful, has been hidden in this bush on the hill of Govardhan for, I mean, this would have been for some ages of a few thousand years, right? I mean, but I mean, I mean, the deity is a few thousand years old. When he, then more recently he would have been hidden, right? Because of the Muslims. But he's an ancient deity. Shoilo padi hoite ama kunjelu kaya, lecha boya sevak mor gelo palaya. When the Muslims attacked, the priest who was serving me hid me in this bush in the jungle. Then he ran away out of fear of the attack. Se hoite rohi ami e kunjastane, balo hoilo aila ama kadasavadane. Since the priest went away, I have been staying in this bush. It is very good that you have come here. Now just remove me with care. Etaboli se balak andar dana koilo jagya madava podi vichar kodilo. After saying this, the boy disappeared. Then Madhavendrapuri woke up and began to consider his dream. Shri Krishna ke dekino mui narino chinite eta bali prema veshe porila bumite. Madhavendrapuri began to lament. I saw Lord Krishna directly, but I could not recognize him. Because now he's realizing that boy who came to me, that was Krishna himself. <laughs> that I didn't know at the time. <laughs> Thus he fell down on the ground in ecstatic love. Madhavendra Puri cried for some time, but then he fixed his mind on executing the order of Gopal. Thus he became tranquil. Pratasnan kodi podi grammaje gela sablo ke kacha kodi kohite lagila. After taking his morning bath, Madhavendra Puri entered the village and assembled all the people. Then he spoke as follows. Grambya Ishwa Toma Govardhana Dadi Kunja Acha Cholotare Bahir Jekodi. The proprietor of this village, Govardhan Dadi, is lying in the bushes. Let us go there and rescue him from that place. <laughs> And, you know, I, I appreciate this, this here, this description, because 
it shows like what type of potency Madhavendrapuri had. Like he's an unknown sadhu amongst many, and he's able to just go out and like call all the villagers together. We're gonna go, you know, discover this deity. Like they don't know who he is, right? But obviously he must have had some presence, right? And they can see he's not an ordinary person, and they're all following him. <clears throat> Let us go and rescue him. <laughs> Wow, what a service to rescue the Supreme Lord. What a privilege. Atyanta ni vida kunja nari praveshite guttari korali laham dvara korite The bushes are very dense and we will not be able to enter the jungle. Therefore, take choppers and spades to clear the way. Shuni log tar sange choli la harishe kunja kati dwa kori kori la praveshe. After hearing this, all the people accompanied Madhavendra Puri with great pleasure. According to his directions, according to his directions, they cut down bushes, cleared a path, and entered the jungle. So this is quite an quite an endeavor. Yeah, it's quite a mission. It's totally overgrown. And he and he's telling them exactly. I mean, that's wow. Like, you know, big Govard on Hill, you know, and he's telling them exactly this way, this way. <laughs> this Gopal personally took him there in the dream. Takur de kilo mati, jine achadita, deki sablo koilo anande vishmita. When they saw the deity covered with dirt and grass, they were all struck with wonder and pleasure. <clears throat> with joy and amazement. Avadandur kodi kodi lo vidite mahabadi takko ke honade chalaite. After they had cleansed the body of the deity, some of them said, the deity is very heavy. No single person can move him. Maha maha balishta lok ekacha kodiya parvata upadi gelo purita koloya. Since the deity was very heavy, some of the stronger men assembled to carry him to the top of the hill. Madhavendra Puri also went there. And that deity is now in Rajasthan. I'm trying to remember the name of this specific town. Can't remember. Jamuna Priya went there. I can't remember, but it's in Rajasthan. And the the whole um, what's the name of the town? But it, it's a. I mean, I haven't been there, but my from what I've heard of descriptions, the the atmosphere in the town is um. Like, like everything is centered around the deity. Like similar to Jagannath Puri. Like in Jagannath Puri, everything is centered around Jagannath. Mm. So like that type of atmosphere. And the deity is treated in a, you know, very worshipped in a very wonderful way, very opulent way. And everything is centered around that. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. There are a few places like that in India. In South India, there are also a couple of places like that. I mean, really, it's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. We now in we have this one issue in um in India. We're trying to get some some official paperwork, let's say, and and our our brother Gopal is is um trying to take care of it. Actually, it is the matter is it for the death certificate for Nitai Charan. He passed away and, and Gopal's trying to take care of it, but you know, it's like this puja is happening and that puja is happening. And, and I'm thinking only in India, you know, like these things. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Since the deity was very heavy, some of the stronger men assembled to carry him to the top of the hill. Madhavendra Puri also went there. Pattadir Simhasane Takor Bosailo Bodoek Pattar Bishte Avalam Badilo A big stone was made into a throne and the deity was installed upon it. Another big stone was placed behind the deity for support. Kramer Brahman Sab Navagata Loya Govinda Kunder Jalani Lochaniya all the Brahmin priests of the village gathered together with nine water pots, and water from Govinda Kund Lake was brought there and filtered. Navashatta Gatta Jal Koila Upanita Nanavadya Bedi Bajeshti Gangai Gita. When the deity was being installed, nine hundred pots of water were brought from Govinda Kund. There were musical sounds of bugles and drums and the singing of women. Maybe I'll stop there for today. Then we hear more elaborate description of the worship and the installation ceremony. Very wonderful to hear. <laughs> jai Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Shri Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami Ki Jai Shri Madhavendra Puri Ki Jai <laughs>